welcome to your favorite drive-in theater and a sparkling new season. Watch our screen and local newspapers for all the fine shows coming this way. Show after show will feature the latest hits, the biggest stars for fun-filled, pleasure-packed evenings. Relax, come as you are, and spend an enjoyable night out with the entire family. No parking problems, no babysitting problems. And there are always tasty snacks at our modern refreshment stand. Thanks, folks. And once again, welcome back. a good memory for names. Too good. What do you like that, boys? A copper. And I was going to split 50-50 with a copper. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me you're glad to see me. Only say it slowly. All I wanted was for you to come back. That's the truth. I love you, Cody. I love you. Shower curtain. It was Big Ed. He told me to do it. You wouldn't kill me in cold blood, would you? Now let you warm up a little. Let him have it. Oh no. And lose our ace in the hole? He's gonna walk us out of here. Ain't you copper? Ed. Still got nerves. <laughs>
his own twacks. <laughs> Officer, assault and battery, trespassing, disturbing the peace, miscellaneous misdemeanors, public nuisance, traffic violations, going through a boulevard stop, jaywalking, triple parking, conduct unbecoming to a wabbit. Nice looking chap, oh. Violating traffic regulations. Tension. Why, look at you. You call yourself a Maori. You're a disgrace to the regiment. I'm gonna drum you out of the service. <laughs> for a wet. I'm a 
just wasted a wedgement. <laughs> Come on, buck up. Don't cry. I'll get myself up. Here, take me in. You really mean it? It's not another twig. No, go ahead, snap them on. Okay, Doc, let's go. Ready, Mr. Wabbit? Yeah, go ahead, Doc. I'm ready. Before you die, you can make one last wish. Yeah? Well, uh, let's see now. Um, I wish, um... I wish, um... I wish I wasn't Dixie. Hooray! Hooray! Chevrolet presents San Diego and the Ramona Country. Romantic, yes indeed. Especially to this honeymoon couple. We enter the city along a smooth, wide stretch of engineering genius known as the Cabrillo Freeway. San Diego Mission arched by the sun for nearly two centuries, still stands as a landmark of worship. In the heart of San Diego, Balboa Park, with 1,400 acres of vivid floral pattern, is called the garden spot of the world. Still another reminder of California's yesteryear, the old ferry, the last of its kind, which makes its daily visits to Coronado. A short trip from the mainland takes us to romantic Coronado by the Sea and the Hotel del Coronado, famous resort playground of the area. In the Valley of San Jacinto, the Indian girl Ramona comes to life every year in pageant and play and legend. Here, Ramona was married. Here, her lover, Alessandro, was killed. Yet Ramona is a fictitious character who lived only in a book. Heading away from Lake Elsinore and the Ramona country, we come to another famous spot, Capistrano, inspiration for poet and dreamer. Yes, California is a land of legend, but of reality too. You and your family can enjoy the vacation thrills of this fabulous land. No matter where you live, you can reach it quickly, comfortably, and with utmost economy. Travel this year, the roads to romance, to places you have always wanted to go. And when you travel, go in one of the quality motor cars your Chevrolet dealer has to offer. It will be your magic carpet to the land of your heart's desire. The refreshment stand is open with everything to satisfy your taste buds. Here's the menu, the hottest, freshest, crunchiest popcorn. Each kernel popped to its fullest with that real movie time taste. Cold drinks, you'll find your favorite ice cold, tasty, and thirst quenching. And hot dogs, hamburgers, and candy too. Now a short intermission, so you'll have time to make your selection before the show begins. 
tough quality hamburgers, the most popular snack in the country. We serve them plain or garnished to your taste. Hot dogs, the all-American favorite. Certainly we serve them, piping hot and full of flavor. Call for yours now. beverages, and other delicious snacks. So add to your fun of watching the movie now during our 10-minute intermission. Glad to have you with us tonight, and we hope you'll come to see us often. It's great to get out to the movies. Visit us often and enjoy our screen attractions in the comfort of your own car. than Coney Island on Christmas. It's been this way for the last couple of weeks. Well, you can't blame the boys, Knuckles. After all, it's much too hot to work out in the gym. Yeah, I know. 
If I could only think of some way to get them off the streets, they're bound to get into some kind of a jam. Why don't you talk to the boys themselves? I have. They've been towing the mark. Now the sponsor's got the idea that I'm born and worry. But I ain't. Algie, I grew up on these streets. They almost got me the chair. And my gang wasn't any worse than Danny's. Well, where is the gang this morning? Search me. Can't you do that water yet? I want a drink. I'm hot. I'm roasting. Can't we do something to cool off? Yeah, we could go swimming off the dock. Yeah, the cops would grab us for not having no bathing suits. How about the reservoir? Nobody would see us up there. Nobody but a hunk of brass button guards they got. Hey, yeah, lay up, will you, screw out? Make me hotter with that cooling system. How about the ice house? They run us out of there yesterday, remember? Hey, why can't we dig up some place for the shower? That'll be something. I got it. A fire plug. Ah, the cops would grab us, sure. What do you mean? I seen a flame turning one on Delancey Street just the other morning. That's different. They're legal. Yeah, we'd only turn it on for a few minutes. Yeah, just long enough to get cool. Man, I just love weed. Yeah, let's do it. Well, if you guys know one that ain't right out in front of a police station. Yeah, there's one right down on Vassy Street. There ain't no police station there neither. Hey, wait! Hey, hey, hey. Mr. Wilkins, that Dolan isn't the right man for the job. You know his record. Knuckles Dolan has the full confidence of the club's sponsors, Captain. He is completely regenerated. I can understand that very easily. Having his innocence established just before he is to die for committing a murder should reform any man. I ain't a bit sorry for any of you. But it was so hot. Yeah, what the little water. You know, when the captain phoned me, I had half a mind not to bother trying to square it. Thanks anyway. Don't thank me. Thank Algy. He got his father to come down here and go to bat for you. Did he? I hope he succeeds with Nanny and the others. I'm sure that he will. And I want to thank you for your cooperation, Captain. Keeping young boys out of the reform school is a hobby of mine. But if Nanny and his friends get in any more trouble, they can't expect any leniency from me. I'm sure there will be no more trouble, Captain. The boys will be very safe where I am sending them. I hope so. Good day, Captain. Good luck. Uh-oh. 
comes to the old man with another one of his lectures, I guess. Quiet, Monks. Where are you going to send us, Mr. Wilkies? My summer home in the Adirondacks. I'd rather go to jail. Ah, summer camp. Sissy stuff. I ain't going. Not for this guy. Ditto. Me neither. What's doing up there? Must you always have excitement? Let me talk to them, Father. No wonder you don't want to go, fellas. It takes nerve to rough it in the country. Who says we ain't got no nerve? Nah, I've listened to that guy. Yeah, I read about them farms. There ain't no future in that. You're crazy. There's lots of excitement. Exploring caves, tracking down wild animals, camping out at night, plenty to eat, and no cops. Oh, my dear. Think of the things we could swipe. They're state cops. I heard about it. And them. the fishing is great. Imagine early in the morning, a rod and a reel and a game fish. You hear that, guys? He said fish. Fishing. And then I just loves catfish. Mm. I promise you won't be bored. Well, it might be okay. It's up to you, boys. It's either the mountains or... Okay, uh, okay, we'll go. Don't jump at confusions. Uh, I ain't gonna stay here alone. Good. You will start this afternoon. I have a station wagon which will be just right for the trip. You uh, drive, of course? Oh, yeah, but I, uh... I don't know how good I'll be where there ain't no traffic. <laughs> You're not backing out on us, are you, Knuckles? Ah, of course not. I uh, ain't got no lace on my undershirt. Good, then it's all settled. It's Camp Wilkie's or bus. <laughs> oh, great. Can I just leave the country? Let's go. Way off the open road for us. Oh, when do we man. start? <laughs> All right, Algie, hop in. Okay, now go. Hey, don't go out up there. Hey, go out there. sailing for two days, Judge. Two days? Two days? That's too late, Giles. That's right, Judge. Two whole days. In that time, most anything can happen. Probably will. That seems to amuse you. Hardly. It's simply that I know that Maury gang. Unless I'm very much mistaken, they'll see to it that you never have a chance to testify against them. They have too much at stake. Yes, I know. They're threatening Louise, too. When they got close enough to the apartment to leave this in the mailbox. If you and that ward of yours want to stay healthy, keep away from that trial. That means Louise, of course. That shouldn't worry you too much. No. They could use her to keep me from testifying. And in the face of such publicity, what could I do but stay off the witness stand? Whatever happens, you can't win. If you evade the gang, the courts will convict you on that bribery indictment. I'd rather take my chances at the trial. Meantime, I've got to get out of town. But where? Briarcliff Manor. That mountain house of yours? It ought to be safe. How would you get out of here? You bring the car around to the back alley. We'll come through the basement. You're going to take Louise along? Of course. Tell her to pack. And hurry. You sent for me, Miss Louise? Yes, Simp. I want you to take those bags downstairs. Go someplace? On a trip, maybe, with the judge? Yes, Simp, you're going to. In fact, we're all going. Where? Well, I don't know just where. It's Uncle Mal's orders. Oh, gee, I wish he'd have told me. I can't go to a place without calling me mother. I didn't have no idea. Why aren't those bags on the way downstairs? Simp wants to call his mother. You call nobody. Those phone wires may be tapped. Tapped? Yes, with my trial coming off next week, I can't trust anybody. Take them to the basement door, Sim. The basement? But where are the secrecy, Uncle Mal? Reporters, photographers. I don't want them trailing me every second. Where are we going? Briarcliff. That place? With that spooky old Agnes? Oh, she scares me, Uncle Mal. Nonsense. She's a little peculiar living there alone since my wife died. I don't like her. She was devoted to Lenora. That's why I pensioned her and let her stay on at the manor. I suppose it's better than staying here alone. 
But it's so gloomy, it reminds me of the morgue. Is it haunted, Miss Louise? I don't think so, but it needs a good ghost to give it a little life. Oh, come, Louise, the car's waiting. Come on, Sim. Get going. We'll make Briarcliff by midnight. I don't think anyone's seen us. How do you like that? Another flat tire. Why the freight on 11th Avenue could beat this lump? If you like our service, tell others. If you don't like it, tell us. Well, I'm telling you. Now look here, fellas. I'm looking, I'm looking. All I can see is a flat tire. Camp Wilkie's a bust. Well, we're a bust, aren't we? You... That's what he asked Knuckles. You forgot to ask us if we could push. Push? Oh, no, that's not for me. I'm leaving a call. Wake me when it's fixed. Hey, boy, bring me up some ice water, will you? Yes, sir. Uh, I was a guest here, too. It's, uh... All right, boys, load up. How much farther, Alzi? Oh, about 30 miles or so. Cut back out of the All right, now, fellas, come on. Let's have a roll over here. I'd like to... Let me out of here. I got annoyed. Someday driver, someday driver. Give me a mouthpiece, give me a mouthpiece. Help, help, I'm twice. Come on, school, oh. get up here. What's oh. the matter? Hey, Jen, he's black and blue. Anything wrong, Knuckles? Yeah, I think the rear end's damaged. Uh. I think that's my trouble, too. <laughs> <laughs> Giles, what's the matter? I don't know. Are you sure you have enough gas? I filled up in town. Feed line's been leaking. I noticed that last week. I had that repaired. We might have sprung it again. The indicator reads empty. Empty? And that's what comes of dealing with a pack of imbeciles. Where are you going? We passed a gas station back away. I'll bring a mechanic. All right, Giles. But hurry. I'll be right back. What happened? The motor exploded. A spark must have lit the gas from the leak. It's a bomb, a time bomb. Bomb? But, but why? We've got to get off this road, Giles. Do something. You must do something. <coughs> well, I'll try to flag this car. In trouble? Yes, had a blowout. Get it in the bank. Could you give us a lift? No. No. Keep quiet, fellas. Sure, we'll be glad to have you. Tell them to get in. Thank you. Sim, get the baggage. All right, Louise. You're going far? The Briarcliff Manor. About five miles up the road. Well, we're practically there now. Step to the back, folks. Plenty of room back here. Don't cry at the front of the car. Hey, get out. Get out. Have your exact fares ready. Come Women and children, folks. I'm Judge Malcolm Parker. Judge? Five million guys thumbing their way along the road. And we gotta pick up a judge. That's fate.
Ghost! That graveyard has stood there for centuries. All my wife's ancestors are buried there. So is she. It's exclusively for the family. Mister, you has my word. I, I won't intrude on your family. I don't see any lights. Where's Agnes, I wonder? Well, that's that. Rear end shot. What a heap. Yeah, I guess our bus is about done for. Yeah, we'll I stuff, huh? don't suppose you can put us up for the night. Of course not. We haven't the room. Boys, I uh, guess we're going to have to walk. We'll send back for the baggage. Nice people. Hey, Lee, don't do that. What are you trying to do? Scare the dead lady? The graveyard. Didn't you ever see a tombstone before? It, it was a man. It was a shadow. Wasn't it, Giles? Thanks. Wait a minute, boys. Oh, Sim, bring their baggage upstairs with ours. Okay, but I'll be delighted to have you stay with us. Come on, boys. Whoa. Nice job, huh? Calm yourself. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? No, sir. I don't believe in them. I, I'm scared of them. What ails you? I, I saw a face. A ghost's face. Oh, nonsense. It's probably Agnes, my housekeeper. She's a little peculiar. Come along. Confound it. Where is she? My telephone her to expect us. Well, this place makes me awful nervous. And my stomach is doing the jumping jive. Rubbish. There's nothing to fear. Nothing to fear? Then what's all the screaming about? Where is she? What do you think I am? God, I'm making a red cap out of me. All them kids are like a thing of baggage. Another way to pull up. Oh, gosh, I ain't never... What a guy. She think I am anyhow. Well, wasn't? Perhaps one of you boys will go around the back. Climb in the window and unlock this door. That's a good idea. Yeah. You go. Why don't you go? He's going. You go. I'm willing, but I can't convince my feet. Yeah, what's that? Who called? It's a light. Good evening. Why is the house dark? Won't you come in? That's better. You should have had this fire going. Lenora never likes heat. Lenora's dead. What makes this place so cold? It's age. There is never any warmth where the dead do not rest. Tommy Rot. Oh, good evening, Cook. Good evening, sir. We have guests, unexpected guests. Serve dinner for them. We'll eat a little later. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, I must get a little rest and wash up for dinner. Hey, boss, this stuff's heavy. Where'll I put it? Take it up to my suite. You show the boys to my quarters, Agnes. Perhaps you'd like to get ready for dinner. It'll be served shortly. Come on, boys. with that mob. That time bomb has me worried. Maybe Maury's gang has followed me here. Those boys may prevent a murder. Yes, maybe. Come along, boys.
feel just like Snow White. She gives you an apple, don't eat it. Max, I sure do miss that old plantation. Have you seen a ghost? I told you they'd trail me. I'm not safe. I haven't seen any strangers. I did. At that window only five minutes ago. It's your imagination. How could they find out you were up here? I don't know. They must have a map of the house. I found this note stuck in the wall right there. I'll sleep in Louise's room tonight. Aren't they after her, too? I'll put Louise in an adjoining room so she can hear if anything happens to me. And I can hear if anything happens to her. You'd like for something to happen to Louise, wouldn't you? With Louise out of the way, your slow embezzling of her fortune would never be found out. And with me out of the way, you could get hold of her and her money. Perhaps you know something about these death threats. Don't be ridiculous. Cigarette? No. Let's go into dinner. was the bump, see? What we need is more cooperation. I protest. Sit down. Now we gotta stop amalgamated from muscling in on a small car racket. See, that's the first thing we gotta do. I protest. Sit down. Who is that guy? That's the president. Throw him out. Throw him out. Part of the car is the last inch. What's up, Danny? He got sick. Just sissies. They shouldn't eat so much. What's the cigars, not the food? No, oh, well, that serves them right. You need any help, Danny? No, I'll be all right. I only took a couple of puffs. Cigars ain't for kids. Come on. Agnes, we're ready for dinner. <laughs> Say, haven't I seen you somewhere before? Yes, sir. I was on trial in your court. I'm Knuckles Dolan. Knuckles Dolan? That's right. You sentenced me to death for murder. I was innocent afterwards exonerated. Remember? I'm up here with the boys, their guardian. 
she's up here to murder me. I remember now. She's a member of the Mori gang. Those boys are just a cover-up. I'm not a member of any gang. You're upset. It's just a coincidence. He trailed me up here. He's been watching me spying. This place would drive anybody drip dizzy, and you're no exception. I saw you at the living room window not 20 minutes ago. I was upstairs. Dinner is ready. Dinner? Who could eat dinner with a murderer in the house? You should talk. You've been indicted for bribery. And you're going to jail yourself. You. And have you watched every moment? You will not get away with it. Come on, Giles. I'm going to bed. You can eat later. Oh, gee, I was so hungry. Well, why don't you eat? He ain't paying me for that. What a wacky joint. Hey, Knuckles, let's get out of here. We can walk. That's my idea, too, Danny. Don't go, please. Well, I... I ain't welcome. Won't you stay and help me, please, Mr. Dolan? Why do you need help? Oh, I'm in danger. Judge Parker has been threatened. I've been threatened, too. The judge has been embezzling my money. He wouldn't care if something did happen to me. Don't leave this evening. I'm so afraid. I'll go with you in the morning, if I may. Okay, it's a deal. Oh, thank you. Hi, Ken. Hi. Hey, what's the matter? Oh, it's this whole setup. And you. Oh, you mean because Judge Parker thinks I'm up here to murder him? He don't believe you about looking after us and all that stuff. If the Mori gang come up here and get him, they'll drag you in on it. We just gotta get out of here, Knuckles. We will in the morning. He's that girl. Miss Mason needs somebody to protect her. I don't mean any harm, Knuckles. It's just that I couldn't go it if you was to get in another jam. Yeah, I know. But there ain't any danger then. I'd like to believe that. There seems to be danger all around here. Death threats and people peeping in windows and, and that old Agnes. Yeah. But don't worry about me, Danny. But suppose they do bump off the judge. Well, they'll try to pin it on you. And, gee, that'd be awful. They might make it stick next time. Look, Danny, I ain't never gonna do nothing that'll hurt you. But I ain't leaving here till daylight. Look, you wouldn't want me to run out like a coward with Miss Mason on the spot, would you? No, I guess I wouldn't. Yeah. But watch your step, and don't even trust her. Okay, kid. Say, don't you think you kids ought to be getting to bed? Daylight's coming pretty fast. You can't come too fast to suit me. Where are you going? Hello, Ron. Come on. Don't go, pretty lady. Don't go yet. What do you want? You have such nice, soft, white skin. And Nora had white skin like that. Until it became yellowed and shriveled. What a pity, pretty lady. If your skin should lose its whiteness. What do you mean? Strange things happen when the moon is full. And Lenora cannot rest. Stop this nonsense. Stay here. Lenora would like that. Yes, what do you want?
to keep this place so dark. You're not afraid, are you? Oh, me? Have you seen Miss Mason? Judge Parker's trying to sleep. Miss Mason is retired, which shows her excellent judgment. Maybe he's right. But Louise said she'd meet me in the library. Come on. I tell you, the judge looks scared. And that man Giles is trying to calm him down. I was as close to him as, as I am to you. I never had a front seat in a killing. That old station wagon had to break down. Why couldn't it pick out a better place? Yeah, maybe in one of those camps, maybe. We could have been splashing around the canoe instead of jitterbugging with our teeth. Is it my fault? Next time, I'll tell my father to leave you in jail. You'll tell him. We'll tell him. Hey, that old dame says a couple of us could sleep next door. Come on, Pee Wee. Wait a minute. Douglas said for us to go to bed. We're leaving early in the morning. Does he think there's going to be any trouble tonight? Nah. There's something funny about this old morgue. So big and empty, and yet it seems to be full of noises. There's lots of houses like that. Nothing to be afraid of. Nothing to be afraid of? Well, even my goose pimples got goose pimples. What was that? Uh, it's only the organ in the living room. You ain't kidding. No, my grandmother used to have one. But everybody's in bed. Somebody ain't. Let's see. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. 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 What's the matter, Scooter? Ain't you coming? Coming? You feel that hot air on your neck? <laughs> Brother, that's my breath. Brother. Shh. Quiet. What's the matter? What you see it down here? It's a flashlight. I don't see nothing. <laughs> it's them ghosts again. Probably that old Agnes. I gotta choose between Agnes and those ghosts. I'm gonna take jail. Cut that comedy, will you? Nothing to be afraid of. Come on. Let's see what it is. Shut up, will you, Scrum? Oh, you're off. Right. You first, Danny. Oh, no. Yes, Again. Hey, ghosts don't play your organs. Maybe they learn how. Lenora wouldn't like that. That's Lenora's organ. She plays it every night. Lenora? Well, that's Mrs. Parker, isn't it? Lenora cannot rest. Her grave is ever empty at nights. Hey, you can't scare us with that dribble. It's not a question of fear, but of your safety. Go fly a kite. Lenora will never rest until she gets revenge on him. Malcolm Parker wronged her cruelly, but he'll pay. <laughs> Remember, I warned you. Leave this house Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> She's crazy. She makes sense to me. Ghosts playing organs. Fooey. She was pushing those keys herself. Uh, come on, fellas. Let's go to bed. You know, that's the best idea you've had all night. <laughs> yeah. Yes! <laughs> Gee, it's, it's so dark. It's all right. Don't worry. I'm right with you. Yeah, me too. I can't see a thing. Oh! 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 Hey, it's Sam. What's the idea of sneaking up and jumping me? We didn't know you were up yet. What was you doing hiding out here? I wasn't hiding out. I was guarding the judge. Well, the judges will make this far down the hall. Yeah, it ain't down this far. What are you doing here?
What's going on out here? We heard a noise, sir. We were investigating. Well, go back to bed. It's Simp's business to do the investigating around here. Yeah, so there. Well, I guess we owe you an apology, Simp. Yeah, maybe we owe it to him, but I ain't giving it to him. So long as it's on the cup, you can have mine, too. I get blamed for everything around here. Yeah, you crazy, I tell you. There ain't no such thing as ghosts. <laughs> My grandmother seen a real hard once. She must have needed some glasses. Ooh, I guess she ought to know what she see. Well, I don't believe in ghosts. You want that old graveyard down there and everything. I just assume go down there and walk short now. Why ain't it? Ain't a... <laughs> <laughs> ghosts! 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 I told you so. I told you so. Maybe it's Mrs. Parker. But she's dead. Maybe someone forgot to tell her. You said you weren't afraid of the graveyard. Go with me now. See what it is. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. What do you got to lose? Ghosts are nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing in the graveyard but a few stones. You, you want to go right now? Yeah, yeah go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. I'll go. You go. Come on, come on, we'll go. Come on, fellas. Who are us? Yeah, you. Come on. Well, I ain't going to stay here by myself. No, no. No. Well, don't hang on to me. You. No. No! Help! Help! Somebody help! 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 Knuckles, I know what I told you so. Take it easy, kid. I didn't bump off nobody. You strangled Judge Parker with a cord from one of your own bedroom drapes. And you made away with Miss Mason, too. You mean Miss Louise? Miss Mason, do you? She's vanished, not a trace of her. Semp and I looked before we caught you. You kidnapped her so you could get through her bedroom to murder the judge. That's a lie. Stand still or I won't wait for the chair to finish you. Where are you going? To call the police. But I didn't do it, I tell you. Somebody must have sneaked that cord out of my room. Take that gun off my brother. And let him get away, nothing doing. No pardons for him this time. But I didn't do it, I tell you. Look. Say, where were you when all this happened? Yeah, where were you? Yeah, I had him spotted for a killer since the first time I saw him. Look at him shift the eyes. And where was you? In the room across the hall from the judges. Though why I should explain to you, I don't know. I think you ought to explain to me. I'm the bodyguard. You do some explaining. Where were you? You're a fine bodyguard. Well, I don't mind talking, but it's your turn now. Go ahead, go ahead, ask him some questions. How did you happen to find the judge? Or did you? Yes. I thought I heard a noise in the upstairs hall. I went in to see if he was all right. He was dead. Was the door locked? He locked it when I left him earlier in the evening, but I found it open. There's still ghosts again. Yeah, well, ghosts don't cut phone wires. Uh, we can't get any fingerprints off that phone now. Oh, gee, I must have missed him. It's worse than that, we can't call the police. Who'd ever think that I'd be looking for the police? Now we'll have to send somebody. Don't look at me. Not me. And brother, I'll have all out of mileage. Well, who would you suggest? Hmm, maybe Simp. Oh, I ain't going out when there's no killer loose. And that killer's getting away while you dumbbells are holding me. And Louise may be in trouble right this minute. Stop the dramatics. You know where she is, all right. Go on. Simp and I'll keep an eye on you in the living room until morning. Now you two can do the waiting for the cops. You kids get some rope, curtain cords or something. You favor curtain cords, don't you? We'll tie up these babies, put them in an upstairs room, and leave a guard on them. Scram. I'll be a guard. I learned how to handle a gun at school. Well, you can have one of the other kids for company. And the rest of us can look for Miss Mason. I'm the killer. We must find Louise. Who do you think you're deceiving? You're only waiting to get us tied up before skipping out. All right, Pete, you can help Algie. Stop lively. She that's the first time I was ever on the wrong end of a gun. All right, Algie, watch him close. If anything goes wrong, fire that gun. Where are you going? Outside to search the grounds. I'll put Danny and the other boys to work searching the house. I suppose it hasn't uttered that thick skull of yours that if you're innocent, and we are too, 
Agnes might know something about all this. Yes, it has. But the way I see it, and from what Louise tells me about you and the judge, you're as guilty as if you'd spilled the beans. And that lets Agnes out. Uh, take it easy. Algie and Peter watching Simp and Giles. Pee-wee, you and Screw know see if you can find Agnes and the cook. They might know something. What do we do with them if we catch them? Just hold them and yell for knuckles. I'd rather hold a cook. Holding Agnes ain't my idea of romance. Hey, I'm going outside, so if you find them, be sure and holler good and loud. Mums and me are taking care of this room and the rest of downstairs. Hey, just in case we got the wrong guys tied up. Watch your step, kid. Look here, uh, uh, can we all stick together? I kind of lax crowds. <laughs> Come on. That's ought to do it. Hey, ain't you too old to be looking for Santa Claus? I don't know. Murderers sometimes use chimneys. Oh, this joint kind of reminds me of those old castles with uh, passageways and secret panels and all that junk. <laughs> Cut it out, will you? This ain't no time for music practicing. I think this organ has something to do with the secret. You know, we heard it morning just before that ghost showed up. Then Agnes says not to touch it. And Knuckles said Miss Mason was to meet him in this room. She vanished from this room. I'll bet you there's a secret panel. You're crazy. You haven't seen too many movies. Movies? That's it. Say, what's the thin man got that I ain't got? My no Give me a little time, bud. Give me a little time. Say, Danny, you know what I think? You know what I think? Hey, Danny, why don't you... Hey, Danny! Hey, Danny! Nathan, you're coming in with me. Oh, well, I've been so near dead a million times tonight, I might as well get it over with. I'll get a candle. You go ahead. Oh, no, I don't mind waiting. It's all right. Can we get a match? Yeah, sure. Stop shaking the candle, will you? You're crazy. Light it, light it. That's it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't rush me. I'm going. I'm going. Go ahead. Come on, don't be scared. Go ahead. Yeah. I, I think I ought to get back and get some help, huh? Wait a minute. I think you better go first. things we got work to do. Come on now.
The twins over here. You go that way, I'll go this way. Come on, give me half the can. Okay. Wait a minute, I got me knife here. Come on. I thought you'd blame me. Find something. Got a match? All right, go ahead now. If you see anything, just yell. Okay. Don't forget to yell yourself. I... Hey, I found these things in the room back there. I think it belongs to Agnes. Why would Agnes want to go around making believe she was a ghost? Wants to scare us out of the place so she can knock off the judge. That's right. There might be some more stuff back there. Come on, let's look. Come on, you go first this time. I mean, you may go first. I ain't been scared enough yet. Tiffin Giles didn't kill Parker. Agnes did. Maybe you're right. She sure thought he was poison. Me. Hey. That must be Mrs. Parker's. Hey, you, you don't suppose she's in it, do you? No, she's out getting a manicure. Can I just explain to you all about that ghost stuff? Come on, we gotta find Knuckles and report. Hey, you're not gonna go that way, are you? Why not? That, that man, no. Man or no man, we gotta go. Think I'm gonna stay in this dungeon the rest of my life? Come on. Kill us hit out. Beware. Beware. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was that? Something tells me we ain't alone. There he is. Let's get him. Come on. That's her. Come on. Not to me, it ain't good. Take a hit. Okay. The light goes where I go. Want to get separated in the dark? Do 
swing out the window for Knuckles. Okay. Hey, Knuckles! Yeah, what is it? We got the girl. We got it, uh, we got it, we Go get some water. Okay, okay. Oh. Well, so get a move on. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'll get it. <laughs> So they got her, too. Judge Parker always preferred a young girl. That's what broke Lenora's heart. All right, cut the comedy, Agnes. We know all about you. He must be making that water. Where was she? How'd you find her? Well, Mercy thought there was something funny about that organ over there. Hey, Scoodle! Scoodle! Yeah, what? What's the matter? What's the matter? I heard somebody yelling. Oh, maybe somebody else is dead. Oh, it sounds more like Muggs calling Knuckles. Yeah. Come on, let's go downstairs and All find right. out. Right. Oh! oh! Man, if it ain't one thing, it's another. The house is giving me the creeps. Graveyards and dead folks. I wish Bob never was here. But I'm scared. Oh, no, I'm going to get out. Grave goes to the end of the world. I'm going to get out. And the man ran down the alley and we brought her back here. Here, Danny, you take over. I'm going after him. Thanks. Oh, you found her, huh? Yeah. We didn't find that cook. No? And where were you? With Lenora. Hey, she's off again. Why don't you change that needle? Come on, wake up, babe, will you? Time since we heard that shot. Too long. I'm scared. I'm too scared to be scared anymore. Oh, leave it to Knuckles. Yeah, are you okay, Knuckles? Yeah, I'm all right. How is she? Ah, uh, she'll come around one of these years. Well, you needn't get sore about it. Oh, it's not her, Knuckles. It's just that I'm so glad to see you're okay. Hey, he's a tough looking mug, ain't he? You gonna let your Alves and Simp go now that you got him? Yeah, I forgot about him. Go tell Alves to cut him loose. Mark. No, don't let that hey, go. Take it easy. I'll get the orders around here. Go ahead, Mugs. Hey, she's coming around. Are you all right, Louise? Well, the cops will be glad to find you waiting for him. Come on, come on, hurry up. Just wait till I get my hands on that Dolan. Go on, start something. Oh, I'd like to start sleeping if you don't mind. Sleeping? With all the excitement going on? So what? You got your killer. You found Miss Louise. Nothing to do now when cops get here. I'm going to bed. Yes, I am too. Well, go on. Get out of here. Come on, fellas. Happy dreams. I wanted to stay in the background so that I'd have a better chance of trapping the killer. That's why I wanted the boys to find Miss Mason, why I led them to her. You can prove this? If you'll let me reach my hand Check in my pocket. I'll do the reason. Which pocket? Inside coat one. Jim Harrison, district attorney's office. Yes, a <laughs> little the worse for wear. Well, I'm sorry. Well, that's all right. Hey, then you ain't the killer. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I came out here to see to it that nothing happened to prevent Judge Parker from appearing for his trial. You didn't do a very good job of it. Yes, I'm afraid the DA will say. Hey, she's the killer. Mugs found a ghost of Mrs. Parker's grave. She tried to get rid of us so she could kill him. Is that right? Is this boy telling the truth? Why did you do it? Why did you kill Judge Parker? I didn't kill him. Oh, I admit I wanted to kill him for the way he treated poor Lenora. Lenora? Lenora was Judge Parker's wife. She lived here shunning the world during her last years because of his cruelty. 
so. You killed him for revenge. No, I planned to kill him. That's why I pretended to be a ghost, to get these children to leave the manor. But when I went to kill him, he was dead. Stop lying. You killed Malcolm Parker. I didn't kill him. But I'm glad he's dead. This is going to be a long, hard job, and I can do it better without such a large audience. If you kids want to help, go and see if you can find the cook. The cook? That's right, he's still missing. Hey, we looked all over for him before. Come on, fellas, let's go. I sure could go for some of that. You know, you and Pee, we take the dining room. Mungs and me will be upstairs. Okay. All right. Be sure to look everywhere. Hey, it's grown off. Yeah. Find anything? No, nope, not yet. Did you? No. Nope. Oh, excuse me. Ah! He's dead! Help! Help! Why did you kill him? I didn't kill him. I like the cook. Listen, we're going to stay here until you talk. I didn't do it. You did it because he saw you kill Parker. Didn't you? Oh, watch you kids go through the tunnel. Okay, but are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I know a shortcut. Get going. Come on, kids. yourself right into the grave. Get over there. Sam. Come on. Hold it. Hey, I was... All right, Sam. Here's your murderer. He was the judge's bodyguard. Bodyguard? That's Johnny Harris, Maury's best trigger man. Sam. Did he do it? Yes. Well, lock him up. That's what we're going to do. And just so he won't be lonesome, we're going to lock you up, too. Well, what for? You know all about Judge Parker's business. And when you tell it to the court, there'll be a lot of New York crooks going up the river. Well, what do you think of that? Eh, hey, knew it all the time. Had him pegged right from the start. Oh, you're yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I thought, I thought it was so 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 Come on. Let's get out of here. I'm going back to town with Mr. Harrison, but with Judge Parker gone, I'll be very much alone. Well, I uh, might be able to find a place for you in our game. How about it, boys? Hey, fellas, look what's coming. Oh, boy! Boy! Cake! Boy, 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 boy. of the big town, as packed with drama and danger as the squalid streets of some native quarter. In the heart of this melting pot of crime stands an oasis where one man struggles against the forces that turn his loved ones to lives of violence and shame. Into this atmosphere walks the most ruthless character you have ever seen on the screen. A killer returning to the slums that nurtured him and to the man who, strangely enough, had been his boyhood comrade. From the meeting of this strange pair evolves the most devastating blast of drama to hit the screen since Public Enemy, 
angels with dirty faces. Good morning, gentlemen. Nice day for murder. Where's Frazier? Where's that hundred grand? You think we're going to pay off, huh? Certainly. If I don't get that dough in three minutes, Frazier's going to be splashed all over the best hideout in town. I'm going to use your case as a crowbar to pry open and uncover this cesspool. I'm going to force the law, corrupt or not, to indict and prosecute and bring the light of day this entire filthy mess. Asking questions again, huh? Listen. Some of these days you're going to stick your nose and you're going to get something in it. Well, I only thought it was... Shut up! Now, look. You don't know anything about this, see? No, no, I don't know nothing. But you do know what guys get who talk. Yes, Laurie, we both love him. I've loved him since we were kids, six years old. Why are you trying to send him to prison for life? You can't do that to Rocky. I won't let you. You see, Laurie, there's all those other kids in the streets whom I don't want to see grow up like Rocky did. You see, Laurie, they have lives, too. I can't throw them away. <laughs> Sullivan picked me up at my home. He's got everything that was in my safe. Account books, receipts, names, addresses, bank books, everything. If he's prosecuted for this kidnapping, he'll talk. I'm taking care of this job myself. Get Blackie up here right away. Now listen, Mac. I don't care how you handle Sullivan, but it's got to look like an accident with that priest. Leave that to me. like this? I couldn't stand by and watch him shoot you down, Rocky. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.